A lot of people don't realize um, when it comes to um, drugs in your system, um, they don't realize that cannabis can stay in your system for about 28 days, uh, cocaine can stay for three or four days, amphetamines for about the same period of time. And the difficulty with that is that even though you may have done nothing wrong when you were stopped at one of these mandatory intoxication checkpoints, uh, if you're required to give a specimen of uh, saliva and it shows up the presence of cocaine that you had three days ago, you'll be arrested. And if uh, you're convicted in court, you're put off the road for something that happened three days before you drove. So the, some of these drugs are long lasting, they're staying in your system for quite some period of time. And even though they're no longer acting on your central nervous system and they're not uh, causing you to be impaired, you can be punished for them uh, three or four days after you've even consumed them. And in some cases, a week or two weeks afterwards. It's pretty harsh. Most people don't even know that, uh, but that's unfortunately the way it is. If you've been caught in possession of drugs, what happens next? Well, what happens next is you will be summoned to court. Uh, depending, no matter what the guard says to you, and sometimes people tell me the guard said there, there won't be a summons. There will be a summons, guaranteed, 100%. There'll be a summons to court. Uh, depends on the quality of the substance, whether it's cannabis, heroin, cocaine, uh, you know, benzos, whatever it is. If it's, uh, sub if, if it's cannabis, it's you know, under a certain value, it's going to be district court. If it's the other substances and it's of a higher value, you could be going before the circuit court, before a judge and jury, if they think you're, you had it in possession for sale or supply. The punishment for drink driving is disqualification, and that's mandatory. Um, the judge has no option if you plead guilty to drink driving or if you're found guilty of drink driving, they must put you off the road. Some people kind of confuse that with, well, if I tell the judge that I've never been in trouble before or I'm looking after my family and I have my hard work, that that would make a difference. It won't. Uh, I would love to tell you that it will, but they have no choice. If you're found guilty, they have to put you off the road.